All right, today's something totally different. I'm having a master's party in a few weeks and I'm doing natty light chip off challenge. So I'm trying to make two tall boy natty lights into T markers, something like that. And when I looked to see how to make them, I couldn't find anything online. And since I'm making 50 videos this year, I go, what a perfect opportunity for me to make one and show you how to make it. So don't go anywhere. I'll show you how to make Natty Light T markers if you ever want to do that for an odd reason. Like if you have a master's party and a chip off contest. Alright, this is what I'll be using. All purpose sand, drill bit, washer nut. I'm going to have to use an 8 inch carriage nut or carriage bolt just because I got the old tall boy over there. But that just depends on what you're making a tea marker. If it's a 12 ounce can, it'd be totally different. Caulking gun, my drill, and then I use clear silicone to finish the top up. Okay, first things first, if you're gonna make a, a tea marker made of a tall boy, you might as well be drinking one while you do it, so dilly dilly. All right, this is a 3 8 eight inch carriage bolt. Oof. Maybe a little smaller. All right, we're gonna start with this one. All right, so at the bottom of the beer can, you screw a hole just in the middle. Boom. Make sure it fits, it doesn't. So I had the wrong bit. Get all the metal out of there, or aluminum. Okay, the next thing I do is you screw a nut all the way down the, tr the tread, or sorry, the thread, which is the right there if you can't see it. Okay, I got the nut on, put the washer on. Now this is the hard part. You gotta fit this into the top of this without losing the, the washer and then getting through the bottom. So just put it in there. You might have to finagle it a little bit and then just try to find. All right, see I got it. Then just try to get it all the way in there. Boom, and I got that. Then we're gonna put another washer on this side. Nut, screw it all the way in. Screw as tight as you can. I don't. I just use hand tight, but I do it as tight as I can. All right, there you go. Now all we have to do is fill this up with sand. I got a funnel. And I just used a little garden shovel. Just pour it in. It takes a while. This part, this process takes a while. Anyway, I do that over and over until I fill it up. So I'll do that now. You see how this has sand on it? And it looks full, but it's not. I want to put as much sand in there as possible because I'm going to put sealant in there and that sand is going to settle in the bottom with just being messed with. So I want that sealer to have as much sand in there as possible. All right, time to use the clear silicone. There's probably better thing there's probably better things to use. This is just what I'm using. Like I said, I tried to find a video on YouTube and I couldn't find one. So this is all just me. I could be right, 
I could be wrong, but I guarantee you this, they're gonna work. Boom, gross. All right, no exact science, just we pour it in there. That's it, that's what I do. It's, and then it turns out like this. If you can see that. See, no sand, no sand. All right, that's how I make my beer can tea markers. Like I said, I'm gonna use them for a master party in my backyard. It's just a tradition I do. I have a natural natty light chip off contest and I'm just making these for fun, just as a laugh, really. That's pre it's pretty simple and easy. It just takes time. As far as the silicone, it takes at least a day to dry. I didn't touch mine for like two or three days. And you might have to reapply some silicone. It's not a big deal. If it's leaking sand, put some more on there. All right, I challenged myself to make 50 videos this year. That's why you're watching this. I make vlogs, how to's, stupid videos sometimes, just of nothing of my dog. So I appreciate you stopping by. If you liked what you saw, I appreciate if you'd subscribe. If not, I hope this helped you. And if anyone has anything that would help this process for future people searching this video, please leave it in the comments because I couldn't find anything on how to make these. So pay it forward, help the next guy. How about that? Thanks for watching guys. Y'all take care, later. Had a cute old mailman, one Shane. I should have been out here earlier.